Today we're going to look at the power of bash scripting. And we're going to wind up writing a bash script that will take a image, rotate it, and make a video from it. But we've got to draw every one of the images, and we've got to rotate every image and save it. Then we've got to convert it into a video. So since we're going to rotate it in a circle, in, a, in a, a full rotation, we want 360 degrees. This is called a loop, and it's going to take and count from 1 to 360, one increment at a time. One, two, three, four. Now I put a sleep function in here so we can actually see this happen. And we're going to echo the one, two, three, four as it gets done. I also have an echo for a variable. Now the reason of this variable is I want to feed information into this script. A dollar sign one returns whatever information you write after the script. And we're going to il illustrate that right here. We're going to go up here, and this will count. This echo will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one will echo whatever I put into it. It will echo it over and over again. So we're going to go up here. And I, of course, had to run first to turn that explain script into a executable file. Now we'll run it. And afterwards, I'm going to write a number. We'll go 12. 1, 12, 2, 12, 3, 12, 4, 12. The number I entered to 12 will go in there. And I will do it with another one. I can write, I can write a, uh, a text in there. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So that's what that dollar sign 1 did, is it took whatever I put in this position right here, after I execute that script, whatever I put over here will be entered into that script and made usable. And we'll do it one more just for fun. Here's 5. And you'll see 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5. Okay, now we go back up to our script here. Now what we're going to do is add a sequencing number, another number that will go 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to call that num. N-U-M will be the variable. Then we take that variable and say the num, N-U-M, equals the variable num plus 1. So the first time it goes through and does a loop, it'll be 0. The second time it goes through and does the loop, it will be 2. Num will be 2. The third time, it will be, as a matter of fact, I did. if I want to start at 1, I have to start that at minus 1. And the first one will print will be zero. Now we're going to do the same things we did before, except we're going to have an echo. Not only this here, but we're going to have an echo num. Echo dollar sign n u m. And it will go up also. One, two, three, four. Because it starts it. You know, I, I think I, I think I gotta be. Yes. Let me start this at zero. It may be something I wish I had changed, but it's okay. Let's start. You've got to give an initial value because I'm saying num equals num plus one. So I've got to give it an initial value. That could be one, that could be a negative number, a positive. I could start at 100, and it will increase it by one. And this will print that number as it's increased. So let's save this. We'll go back here, clear the screen.
and we'll have it do the five again. We can write it. We can do it. We can have it print anything we want to. Start one, start two, start three. Okay, see? Okay. Now we'll go back here. And we're going to have it define that and go, okay, we're going to echo dollar sign one. And it will be a one. Let's put this behind it. Then we're going to echo num dollar sign n u m. And this will make it a little bit easier to see exactly what's taking place here. And we can do all these. We can do all of them. Let's do this one here. E C H O. We'll have it do dollar sign I, echo dollar sign I, the text dollar sign I, and then echo dollar sign I. And we'll still leave that sleep in there so we have a, a pause between what it's doing. Now what it will do is start at 0, 1 through 36, num equals num plus 1. But when it echoes it, it's going to say, this is what dollar sign one variable is. And it will print it. This is what dollar sign one is and it will print it and this is what the number is and it will print it and this will show you a little more exactly what takes place inside of that so let's clear this out again clear and we'll run it and say uh, um, script did something wrong. Since that's a special character, the only way to get that to echo is to put a slash in front of it. Otherwise, it's going to ignore that S. This is good to learn. It's too bad I did it, but it's good to learn. Now if we run it, dollar sign S, dollar sign 1, and dollar sign num. So now you can actually see when S1 went through, it printed a 1. The second time it went through, it was a 2. The dollar sign 1 was script, because that's what I entered over here, the word script. And as it counted up, num went 1, 1 plus 1, I mean, well, that's 0 plus 1, then 1 plus 1 again, then 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1. This is necessary to know this part in here. Because what's going to happen next is going to complicate things a bit. Since it's counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I don't want every number. I don't want every number. I want it to count 2, 4, 6, 8. Or 3, 6, 9, 12. I want it to count in, in increments. So what I tell it next to do, I build a loop in here with loop within a loop that says if 
this number, if that number divided by the number I entered after the script equals zero, then do everything. Otherwise, it's not going to do it. And what that does is it allows me to increment 2, 4, 6, 8, or 3, 6, 9, 12, or even 10, 20, 30, 40, because it will take the 360. It will take, I mean, it will take whatever count and divide it by the number that I put after my script. And if that equals 0, it will, that's what you call a modulus. It will do this command. That's the way you can get odd numbers, even numbers, the numbers in the sequence of 5, 10, 15, 10, 20, or 20, 40, 60. That's how you get those numbers, if you use what this function right here, which is a modulus. And when I run it now, you're going to see the difference. Because now, the number will only increase if this is true. And we're going to save this and run it here. And we're going to run this and go 4. Now we see 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is the number that was put in. And we see it incrementing 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 40. But we see the number increasing by 1. Now the reason for all this crazy stuff is going to come up in a minute here. Now what I want it to do, in the middle of this loop right here, and I'm going to switch to another program right here. All this is going to be, almost everything going to be in it. This isn't going to be in it. And that's not going to be in it. But you see the basic understanding of this right here. This takes that original function up in here. What I've done with this is this part right here, the very top, says make a directory. If the directory image of spin doesn't exist, make that directory. And that's so I can use this bash or pass this bash on and it will work anywhere. Any place I put it, it will work. I'm going to remove all the images within that directory. That allows me to experiment. I can do it over and over again, different things. It will remove that image and let me make a new, uh, make a new video. Here the counting for 1 in 36, do it. And it uses this, the same thing here where I can tell it how many degrees I want it to change. Because what this is actually incrementing in, this, in degrees, is that every, every 2 degrees, 4 degrees, uh, 6 degrees, 8 degrees, do this. Or run this command. The number, will, the number will increase and it's going to echo the degrees and the number in here. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a sleep in here. And I can't do it for the whole thing. I can do it to slow it to show only the beginning on what, uh, what it's doing. S-L-E-E-P. One second. And it will show what it's doing and make these images very, very slowly in here. Now, if I go here and run this, so it rotates, and I've got to give it an increment. It's got to be an increment of 10. And here it's making all the images. Every 10 degrees is creating an image. It's resizing that image. 
Then it's taking all those resized images and it's turning them into a video. And there it is. We'll go back here and look at this and explain it again. You're incrementing. You're adding three degrees and at this point here you're saying open up the subscribe, rotate it, whatever this count is. So the first time will be the, uh, the first number, for example for 2468 that would be rotate by two degrees and save it as num minus. Now I'm telling this, take the num minus that it just saved and scale it to 720 by 720 and save it, and save it as num. And that'd be whatever number this is. One, two, three. Every time it goes through a loop, it will increase it by one. Now, once this is all completed, once it's generated, all this is the image generator right in here. This is the image generator. When it has generated all the images, then it will take and run FFmpeg, go into that directory, create a video, 720 by 720, HD, that's the library by 264, at the rate of 30 frames a second. And this identifies my picture format, so I can use that, those uh, pings to turn that into a video. And save the video as images, the same name as what I as the number I put behind my extension. And then VLC automatically runs that video. So I can go in here and see what's so clear. I can say rotate it at one and it will be a very slow rotating image. I shouldn't say very slow, but it will definitely slow it down because it will only change one degree at a time. This part over here, this 10 uses 10 pictures to make one frame. If it was one, it would be like one every second. This puts 10 images per second. If it's 30, it's very fast. It shows 30 images per second. But if it's down to one, it would show only one image per second would be running in there. So this is a speed control, the same as the variable you enter after the script is a speed control. And it's still generating images because it's generating every image. It's not going one, it's not going two, four, six, eight, or ten, twenty, thirty. It's doing every image. Any image that's used here, it will take that and rotate it, and it will take that and resize it. So you can use anything. I could use a star. Matter of fact, I've got a star. I can put. It. I'll do the star. That's what I'll do. Where's my star image? No, I'll use spin. Instead of subscribe, I'll use spin. This has got to be about done here. And what this will do is use the image spin and make the same thing 
I put maybe I want to put, put ed, uh, I wanted to put images um, spin and images spin so I have a different name on it. And I'll save that. And this isn't done yet. Come on. Oh, that's because I changed the name of it. It actually exists over here. It is there, but that's a... Uh, where is it at? That's because I changed the name of the script in the middle. There it is. And if I run this next one, which I'll cut off everything except for the actual. Do this by five. This will be a little bit quicker. And it will take that image and uh, take all those images and rotate each image by five degrees. If you look in here, you can actually see them changing. Here's generating the video. Very quick video. This is just this one second here. And run it, and there it is. And if you see the name of the video is spin five, spin five. Because I put the five as being my variable. If I used another one, which would be a uh, This will be real quick here. Let's put it by 10, 10 degrees each time, and that should spin pretty fast. I still do have this. At this point, I've got it at 10. If this was 30, it would really spin around there. And there it is at 10. And if I change this to 30 frames a second, and I do that at 10, then it's going to whoop around and it's going to spin very, very fast. fast. And of course that is so quick that you would have to tie several images in together, several videos together to make something really worthwhile. But that's all you can do with one cycle at a time. Okay. You have a good day. So here is the cure for the shortness. I'm going to go ahead and add on the same script here. This has been, uh, I had some comments and things added to it. And it's um, going to be available on uh, GizTub. And uh, that will be in my description. But to lengthen it out, now we have the, the video images spin and whatever number you choose to have whatever number uh, depending on what your uh, your um, degrees of, uh, of turn is 
What you do is the Miranda script says remove my list text. In case you have one, it will remove it. Then you call a list the same as this name right here. The name as what you had made. So this is your list. You echo that list. And you can look at the file, or what it actually is. Now you have to build a my list text. Files that are listed in my list text are concatenated together with FFmpeg. Any files you put in the my list text or into, I mean, uh, in my case, it's my list text, or whatever files you put in there. the concat command will join them all together. So what I have done is I said, take that last file that was made and echo it into my list text. Echo it again into my list text. So I've actually got that file listed one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine times it's listed in there. The concat command down below will take all of those files, all that, it will take my list and all the files listed in it and join them together and turn them into one file called long mp4. And that will be a combination of everything put together. So if this here is only a 10 second video, this one will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 seconds long. And of course, you can make this as short as you want to. And when we run this, we get a long video that will play in there. And I'm not going to do it now just because of the time it takes to do it. But I do have the long video, and I can play it here. As you see, now it's lengthened out to 48 seconds. And before, it was only the one little um, four a second or whatever that was, a little short one. So, I hope you enjoy the video. And you can take a look and download this script. And it will run. All you have to do is make yourself an image. And we will make an image next. Well, this won't be the exact same image because I accidentally erased my file. But I can make it so much like it that if I didn't tell you, you'd probably think it was. Okay, what I'm going to do first is put a big star in the middle here. Here's a big star. And do that in yellow. You can, of course, use any color you want. But I like yellow. And we'll paint that big star up on there. Now, where's my tools? It's a slow increase, isn't it? Okay. Since it's only a 720, I don't want to get too giant in here. Okay, here's a yellow star. We'll double that. Whoop, and then we'll put a layer underneath it. And uh, we'll select the star. And as usual, we'll grow it. We'll grow it by four. Go down here. And paint black. That gives an outline to the star. Now we'll take and merge this layer down, merge down, make another layer, and select none. And now we'll write some text. And we'll do that text in red. And let's see, uh, Subscribe. 
and like. Select all those with a control A, select them all, and increase the size so it fits in there nicely. Subscribe and like. And we'll take that layer and make it the image size. Then we'll take and select it again. We'll select all of that. Select them all. Put a layer beneath it. We'll take our selection and grow it. Grow that selection by four. Take the white. No, we don't want white. Let's take it black. And paint it black. Now we can merge that down, merge that down, and merge that down. And select none. Then let's select everything.